it's a big big video today again i feel like i've been making a lot of big videos recently but today is especially important because me making a video you get attention later i got home back to germany back to bavaria back to my mom's house a few days ago and coming home i don't know about you guys but for me coming home is usually a really good time to check in with myself and see what has changed since, since the last time i was here how far i've come what growth has happened how i've developed and coming home this time wow i mean i was here last in november of last year beginning of november so it's more than six months ago and before that it was six months before that so it's a good chunk amount of time to, for a lot of things to happen internally but also externally and I can tell now that I haven't been in a, in, in a good place like this within myself in such a long time, maybe even never in my entire life. I'm feeling so unbelievably good and grounded and just at peace with myself. Yeah, this is huge. Last time I was here in November, I was in a really bad place. Before that, that was in May or so, June of last year. I was in an okay sort of place, I was getting better, but I was still struggling really hard. I remember when I left. And so, so now, you know, I've been thinking a lot about what has happened and all these things that I've done to, to sort my shit out basically, what were, what have been the crucial puzzle pieces to, to, finally end up at the place where I am today and so I want to share this because I believe so many of us suffer from depression and I have so much especially in the last few years and but throughout my entire life and I have done so many things through the years I've been writing down everything that I did to I guess work on myself to get support on my healing process to, that would advance me on my spiritual path and then I figured out okay so there's a few things that really helped especially a few things that I've done in the last six or 12 months in this video today I want to share what has helped me to get to where I am today feeling pretty awesome every day when I wake up in the morning feeling creative feeling inspired feeling motivated you know feeling at peace with myself which is probably the best place to be at and even if you know, there's still days, of course, where I, you know, where I don't feel this happy and awesome, where I go through shit. Of course, I still get triggered, but now I feel like I really have the tools to deal with all of that stuff. I've been on my spiritual path for about five years or so. It was kickstarted after my first girlfriend and I, we broke up and that just put me onto this path to myself really i needed to figure my shit out because a lot of things were not working and that relationship brought a lot or the ending of that relationship brought a lot of that stuff to the surface and i just could not look away anymore over the years i still kept on drinking a lot i was still partying a lot taking drugs i was traveling like a maniac to keep distracting myself from the real real shit that needed to be looked at i was still using a lot of distraction mechanism and strategies that weren't very healthy and I kept on ending up in relationships that were very unhealthy and dysfunctional and just totally didn't make me happy or very dramatic and it was just one after another after another and so that cycle kept on going and I believe that probably one of my lowest lows of the past few years took place about a year year and a half ago so at the end of 2015, beginning of 2016. That's when I really hit another pretty intense rock bottom, I could say, with myself. I felt incredibly lost, depressed, sad, lonely. I was incredibly desperate because I felt like I had already done so much work. I've already done so much shit to sort all my stuff out. And yet I found myself once more on the bottom of feeling extremely horrible and depressed. I was in a lot of emotional pain. I was stuck in fears of abandonment, rejection, loneliness was huge. I felt unworthy, I felt unlovable. There were so many suppressed emotions 
within myself, my psyche, but also my body. A lot of anger, a lot of sadness that I had no idea really still how to process them properly and let them go and release them. But I realized then at the beginning of last year that I had been circling around what I really needed to look at rather than going straight in. I thought I could sort my stuff out, you know, just like, yeah, bit of coaching here, bit of energy sessions there, just kind of, you know, go along like that. But it turned out I hadn't properly gotten to the core of the onion, as I call it, because there's so many layers to all of this. I was getting closer layer by layer, but I was, I still hadn't really gotten to the core issues. I had read so many books, I'd gone to so many retreats, yoga, meditation, whatever. I've, you know, I've completely immersed myself in Buddhist philosophy over the years. And yet, I still hadn't figured my stuff out yet. And I feel a lot of people have this issue. They, they do a lot of work and, and nothing, nothing really, really does it. And you get frustrated, extremely frustrated. But the only thing I can tell you here right now is you gotta keep going, you can't just stop. But at that point, when I really reached that low of the lows, when I was in Bali, I thought this is it. Like I had lost all sorts of hope or trust that things would ever get better. I was so desperate. I had lost hope completely. I was sitting there looking up at the stars one night, talking to the universe that I didn't really believe in anymore. And I was like, so what? What is all of this? What's all this bullshit? And I didn't get answers that night, but I started to get answers because I asked the right questions. I will share the specifics in a moment of, you know, all the things that I did that really helped me through all these hard times and through my depression. Here's one thing I'd like to emphasize is that there is not one key. There is not one solution. I have found my path and it was a step-by-step -step process, literally. It was just putting all the puzzle pieces together. And then I did one thing and that was a piece to the puzzle and then another thing that was a piece to the puzzle. And your puzzle might look completely different and so you will need different pieces and different solutions and different keys to figure your stuff out. I hope that with this video I can inspire you to try out different things different strategies, different tools, but also realizing that it'll all eventually come together. And that I hope that you trust in that process and that you trust in what's difficult and that you trust in that life is not against you. It doesn't happen to you, life happens for you. Another big learning I had was I realized one day I needed to work on all different levels. So that means I needed to work on my rational level up here because I need to understand shit. <laughs> That's how my brain works. I need to work on my emotional level, obviously, and energetical level. And I needed to work on a physical level with my body. And all these three together, they have been basically the combination for me to get down to this core and just kind of look at it and heal it and accept it and then let it go. Okay, so what has really helped me on my path to heal depression and a lot of other stuff? Number one is that, and this has been a very recent process, recent development, is that I have embraced moving my body every single day. This has been such a game changer, I can't even put it into words because once I realized that when I'm low on energy, that's when I get depressed really easily. But when I work with my energy and when I get it to be up here in the morning, every single day, or at least five or six times a week, then depression is really hard to come up. And so I started to go running every day. I mean, I've always done yoga you know, for many years now, but not every single day. And even if I did, I realized, especially this year, I need to have a variety of things that I do and as much as I absolutely love yoga and in so many ways has changed my life and helped me through a lot of shit, I also need to move my body in different ways to get my energy going. And so running has been huge. I don't enjoy running, I've, not necessarily anyway, but I do it because I love the feeling afterwards. I love surfing. It's great being out in the ocean, being in the element of water. That has been a completely complete game changer. 
I go swimming. I love that. I, or I go hiking or I go skateboarding, whatever it is, moving my body every day, especially in the mornings, just completely takes care of the day. It sets the vibe. It gives me just this boost of energy and then depression has no chance. This has been one of my biggest learnings, my biggest epiphanies to dealing with depression is that you need to get out of here you need to move your body because otherwise you're stuck in this low energy and it's too easy to fall back into it. Number two, and I've made a couple of videos on this experience is I attended two Tony Robbins events in December of last year and end of March of this year, Date with Destiny and Unleash the Power Within. With everything that I've done before, looking back now and having you know a bit of perspective on what happened during those events and kind of being able to reflect on what has actually really shifted for me. I can say with my utmost confidence that these two events have completely changed my life. I feel like I've completely upgraded my mindset, getting out of this victim mindset, victim mentality of, you know, oh my God, why is this happening to me? Life is horrible. I'm depressed. I'm lonely. Why are people doing this to me? To feeling absolutely empowered because I'm in control of my own destiny and how I feel every single day. I feel like these two events really reprogrammed what's going on in here in the best possible way. And since then, my neural pathways have really grown in amazing ways apparently and like built new highways of positive beliefs that are now running my life. And also, these two events opened me up to the power of music and dancing and movement. And that was huge. So I dance a lot more. I listen to a lot more upbeat, cool music. Yeah, it's been just mind blowing, guys. One thing that I totally failed to mention in the video that I recorded earlier today, and I'm just editing it right now, is that one of the most life changing things that happened during Tony Robbins events was that we worked really hard to release limiting beliefs. And that in itself has been absolutely crucial in taking care of what goes on up here. Because beliefs influence the way we feel and hence the way we live and how we experience life. And by getting rid of beliefs such as I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, I will always be alone for the rest of my life. I will never experience lasting, beautiful happiness. And those are actual beliefs that I had that I've completely eradicated from my life through Tony Robbins events and through the mindset that was instilled and programmed into my brain, so to speak. And so I just really wanted to make an extra point of this because without having changed and worked on these limiting beliefs and replaced them with way more empowering beliefs such as I'm fucking awesome because without that process I'm not sure if I had healed my depression as quickly as I did throughout these last like six months or so all right back onto it so Tony Robbins and moving my body I would say in the last like six months or so have been two of my main impactful aspects to really beat my depression and a lot of shit that came with that. However, along with all of this, I have been working with an amazing life coach slash therapist for the past year, year and a half almost now. The work that I've been doing with her has been absolutely game changing as well because I have never committed to working with someone to this degree and to this depth as I have with her. And I have worked with many coaches before and I recently also made a video on that. Yeah, it's been amazing just really sticking with one coach, one therapist. I have done a lot of psychotherapy before throughout the years since I was a teenager really, but none of that really worked for me. But that combination of life coaching and therapy has been huge. One other, I guess, coaching approach or therapy approach was Grinberg. Now this is relatively big here in Germany, but I started with someone in Bali. I will put the link below. She works internationally actually, but she's amazing. And I've worked with a few other Grinberg um, therapists as well. But it's basically somatic body work where I was taught and guided through feeling my emotions properly 
really going into your body and, and feeling into where there's blocked energy sitting, where there's emotion sitting, such as anger, sadness, you know. For me, a lot of times it was in my throat or maybe my chest or in my stomach, but my throat was huge. So many times when I was triggered uh, or activated, I would feel like not just a tennis ball, I would feel a basketball sitting right here. And to this day now, we've completely let go and released all of this energy so that I barely ever, I don't even remember feeling that anymore, this activation here or anywhere else. So Grinberg has been huge. I've recommended it to my sister and to other friends and they love doing it and um, have seen amazing results. With all of this, let it be Tony Robbins, the life coaching, the Grinberg sessions, I learned how to actually really feel emotions, how to connect to my emotions, how to accept them, how to not judge myself for feeling whatever it is that's there, that's present, that wants to be seen. And that for me was absolutely huge because I was, for most of my life I've been so disconnected and didn't really know how to feel. I didn't really know how to deal with emotions of anger and sadness. They would make me feel so depressed and, and desperate that I would look for other ways to distract myself or eventually sit there and be so completely sad and in so much emotional pain because I didn't know how to release it and how to actually feel them. And through all these ways of working with coaches and therapists and whatnot, I have finally found a way to connect to them. And also just realizing that any emotion, let it be whatever we say is positive or a negative emotion because that's all just in here, right? But it just realize that they're all it's all just energy when i'm sad it's energy or when i'm happy that's energy too and to be just okay with that and and not labeling any of those emotions as good or bad yeah learning how to feel wow i think i have to make a whole extra video around that topic because that's been so big for me and all of this work of connecting with my feelings and you know doing Grinberg work and feeling into my body has really led to a much deeper connection with myself which is really what we lack when we feel really depressed and lonely is that we lack connection we lack connection to other people but also to ourselves for the most part and by connecting to myself through all these techniques but also through meditation and through yoga and all these things is that I've come home to myself and that has been, I guess, one of the missing pieces. And once I've established this deeper connection to myself, I could actually start going deeper in relationships with other people, with friends and family and partners and also share more and make myself more vulnerable and just really have such enriching relationships in my life that I never feel disconnected anymore. I don't feel that loneliness anymore because I have this connection within me all the time. In relation to that, I did a 30 day vulnerability challenge earlier this year. So I did a video every single day where I made myself very vulnerable, emotionally very naked. And I shared a lot of things that I felt embarrassed or ashamed of. And that has also contributed to de-shaming so many areas of my life. Also making this video is de-shaming depression for me. And that in itself has been another piece of the puzzle. I personally have never taken antidepressants. I don't really believe in them. I feel like they hook people on chemicals and actually they don't really solve any of the problems. They might be good short term, but in the long run, we have to do the work. We have to do the work. The only thing that I do take is 5-HTP. It's a natural serotonin from an African bean and it helps me especially before I get my period when I'm PMSing because then my serotonin level, level drops and the 5-HTP helps me to bring it up again. I'm actually taking less and less of 5-HTP because I want to get off of it. I don't like taking anything on a regular basis. It has been a good interim solution and I can also feel that my PMS has gotten so much better. Connected to this is that I started charting my cycle earlier this year because I really wanted to see how do I fluctuate emotionally, physically, creatively throughout my cycle. I noticed that after I ovulate I'd sometimes have a couple of days where you know this feeling of meaninglessness or why am I here, what's the purpose of life, that sort of stuff would come up for me and just noticing that, just becoming more aware of that 
that in itself helped me to not put myself down for it, to not. So instead of getting depressed about being depressed, I would be like, hey, it's okay, Connie. What do you need right now? What can I give you? And just taking it easy and not as heavy. Okay, we're finishing up here now because it was getting so loud outside, unbelievable. So anyway, here's a big one that definitely helped a lot. And I would recommend this to anybody who, like me, has found themselves in unhealthy, dysfunctional, dramatic relationships. I stopped doing that. I am single right now and I'm really enjoying it because it's giving me the time and the space and a break from all this drama. Hey baby. She's no drama. You're just cute. The goal was to really come to a point in my life where I love my life and myself so much that so that the day a relationship opens up for me again it would only be the icing on the cake but not the actual cake I used to look for relationships to be my cake not realizing that I had to be the cake and so now I just want some icing it's all I need and so that has been huge because if I look for a relationship if I'm looking for a partner to complete me if I look for a relationship out of loneliness of not not wanting to be alone then I create relationships out of scarcity and that's really fucked up and not cool not to myself but also not to my partner and at this point I am building this rock solid foundation every single day and with this also comes building a deeper sexual connection with myself outside of being in a relationship or being with a partner. I want to own my sexuality. I want to own my sensuality. I want to own my orgasms. I want to own my body and feel amazing in it without needing any confirmation, anything else from outside. And I'm doing some really cool things these days. I started dancing naked in front of the mirror. I started to just really, really go deep into who I am as a sexual being, as a sexual woman, as a queer sexual woman. And it's a beautiful and amazing journey that I sometimes share on Instagram, actually. Totally, definitely follow me on Instagram. And lastly, lastly, I guess it's part of building this foundation with myself and with my life. And it's really getting crystal clear with my why in life. Not just when it comes to business, but with my life and with every single day and my purpose and my calling and I'm getting clearer and clearer. Making videos is helping me a lot actually to do this. Launching Live Your Heart Out, my new platform, was a huge step in that direction. And it keeps getting clearer and clearer, even though I'm not 100% there yet, but I realized that knowing, having a why every day when I wake up is, is so essential to feeling fulfilled and then depression has no chance. And with this also comes the desire to contribute, to create, to be creative and inspired and I love it right now because every single day is a day full of feeling creative and wanting to put something out there, wanting to share and having all these beautiful ideas and goals of things I want to do and achieve and I can't wait because the next year, two and three, I think they're gonna be, they're gonna be really awesome. I have so much cool stuff coming up, so stay tuned. And so all of this all of this, all these pieces, all these puzzle pieces, they ended up being this package. And this package that obviously I keep adding to and you know, it, it never stops. The learning never stops. But all of this, it, it's let me groan as a person and as a soul so much that my life is so much richer now because of all the challenges that I faced, because of all the depression, because of all the sadness because of all of this because of all the heartbreaks i've grown so much and i feel a lot of gratitude for that that's what it's all about i guess right and i really hope that this video helped you and inspired you to go inwards more and to go out and open yourself up 
to more of those puzzle pieces that might help you on your path and to help you heal your depression and whatever emotional pain you might be experiencing. And I would love it if you shared with me what has helped you on your path to healing depression or whatever other shit you had to go through. So please do share in the comments below. And if you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video with or without Feeny. Right? Okay. Bye guys. Mwah. Say bye Feeny. You can only see her ears. <laughs> Feeny, look in the camera. Bye bye. We finished. Thanks for crashing my video. Can you know your ass is in the camera? This. There's like a hair from the microphone. A lot of the psycho psychotherapy. <laughs> it's that. Okay, are you ready? Yes, you're looking great. <laughs>